Welcome back. Street hawking and trading is illegal in the nation's capital, Abuja. However, the activities of these traders seem to be on the increase in different parts of the city center. This week, FCT in Focus looks at the rising trend on street trading. Men, women, young and middle-aged taking to the streets of Abuja to sell their wares. They swerve through traffic, not minding the dangers of their trade. Among residents, the situation calls for concern, especially as it affects traffic and the environment. Street trading is not good in Abuja. Why I say so is that some boys, uh, they use that opportunity to snatch their food. People selling market in the main road is uh, is cause old up number one, and uh, if anything, it can cause accident. And uh, let's say it's not make uh, the Abuja clean. Street trading to me, I condemn it. It's not a good thing at all because any road at all or street is supposed to be free flow for motorists to pass. Under Section 35 of the Abuja Environmental Protection Board Act of 1997, street trading and begging is prohibited in the nation's capital. However, the traders insist that there are little options for them because of the economic reality in the country. Street trading all over the world exists, but it has to be monitored. But in Nigeria, or Abuja, where you have so much poverty, people are not considering traffic situation. They want something to eat. That is the truth. People have to earn a living. They have to survive. Parents have to take care of their children. They have to perform their responsibility to their families. They have to pay school fees. They have to feed. They have to do this. And when there are no jobs, when there are nothing to engage them, what will they do? Instead of uh, engaging in criminal activities, they resulted into street, uh, street uh, trading to survive. Street walking is not a yardstick for traffic. Traffic is actually a mindset of the people of Nigeria in general, as in general, because um, even at night when there is no street walking, you can still find traffic. The AEPB is saddled with the responsibility of abating environmental nuisance and the agency considers street trading as a problem. There are abundant market, market places and market spaces within the, within the capital city so that, and the, the satellite towns so that they can do their legitimate businesses. But where they are found to be still trading on the streets, what we do is to now arrest them impound their goods, bring them to the court, to the mobile court, whereby they will be prosecuted as to why they still remain on the street hawking. Abuja is established by a law. Once there is, there is an APP Act which prohibits street, street trading, whenever they are arrested, they will be charged and, uh, and to pay a fine. And these fines are directly remitted to the coffers of the uh, FCT administration as a revenue. On a daily basis, officials of the board throng the streets in search of violators of the AEPB Act. According to the agency, a total of 8,231 street hawkers have been arrested between January and October 2018. 8,122 of these have been prosecuted. They are either sent to jail or made to pay a fine. For one to engage in street trading, there are some merchants within the market that will give them articles to trade on the street. And then whatever they sell, they return back the, uh, uh, the monies uh, for those traders and get another article to still go back to the same uh, road. To be trading. So what we are going to do is we are going after identifying the merchants that are giving them items to trade on the street. 
The Federal Capital Territory Administration is hoping to construct more market spaces and encourage these hawkers to display their wares at the legal places and discourage street hawking.